Welcome to a Pal World glitch video. I have a really, really cool bunch of glitches today and I think you'll be enjoying this video quite a lot because I definitely enjoyed making them. There are some really, really different glitches. We have a big variety of them. So we have things from a duplication glitch to a money glitch to how to defeat the alpha pals around the map even after you've died. That is actually correct, you can do this. So stay tuned and give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you very much, enjoy the video. So the first glitch I'll be showing you today is a really, really cool one. It is how to defeat any of the bosses in the entire game after you've died. You can do this after you've even died. It is really, really cool. I will show you now. So basically all you need to do is just go to any of the marked bosses on the map. So I'm just gonna choose, for example, this Alpha Dran right here. So I'm just going to travel to it and then get on my flying mount. So what we need to do is just chuck him down and I'm just going to fly towards it. Is it this direction? Yep. So we're going the right direction. So we go all the way to him right here. So we pretend we're just fighting him. So we do some damage. So now we're approaching the end of it. So say if I die right here, I'm low on health. I'll just hold down to throw my pal out. And just before I die, you have to throw your pal out. So within, I think, one more hit. After you've thrown your pal out, it will continue to actually hit it, and it won't be aggroed on your pal. So it will just continue hitting it and hitting it again until it dies. As you can see on the screen, it then says first boss kill. And then you get your ancient technology skill points, and it is a really, really cool thing to do. You can't capture them, it is just for beating them, so killing them and then getting the rewards afterwards. So this next glitch is the infamous duplication glitch that everybody kind of knows about. If you don't know about it already, I will show you right now. So we have some materials right here. We have 222 ingots, 45 nails, 386 wood, and 32 high quality pal oil. This still works and it is best to do something like this weapon assembly line because it has nails and lots of iron in it. So this leads on to the glitch afterwards, but I will show you this right here. So remember I have 45 nails. So I'm just gonna go and duplicate this to get an extra 20 nails and 100 ingots. This is so good. When you stand outside your base, as you can see, I have no materials on me at all. And I walk in and I have everything on me. So you need to get the fine line between not having it and having it in your base. So if I go like this and then edge to the left, it is gone. So you, once you've done it, you are at the edge, you click to build, and as you click, you walk out of your base. Like that. It might not work the first time, just cancel it, and then put everything in the chest. That has actually worked first time. So it's really, really good, really handy. So now I have 322 ingots, 65 nails. And it is such a good idea. I will show you one more time just to get it right, just to show you. So as you can see, 322 ingots. I had 222 earlier. There we go. So we walk up to it, cancel it. There we go. And now have 422 ingots, 85 nails. So now I've acquired all of these items. I'm just going to take some iron ingots. You don't want to take all of them because there is a hell of a lot of weight to be on them. So I'll take 26 for example. So there we go. I've taken 26 ingots and 26 nails at the same time. So this duplication glitch is really, really cool. So I need to get my wandering merchant now with my cage of people. I swapped them with a pal. So I just go over to my pal base. You have to then deploy him at your pal base like so. So I'll just do it with any of those. And then quickly talk to him like this and then go to sell. So looking at that, 20 gold per ingot. It's pretty decent, but you then go over to the nail and it's 160 per nail. What do you think you can do after that? We go over to the crafting bench or the production line, either or doesn't matter. And you go to the nail option there. One iron makes two nails. So 20 gold for one iron or 160 for one nail. So what we'll do is we will just make 26 bars worth. So 26 like that. Start production, I'm just gonna get my Anubis to help me out, just so we can really quickly make them, and we'll see how much money we can make. Nice one, thank you mate. So we then take those nails, and I'm gonna run over to the trader again, talk to him, click on sell. Look at that, 12,000. And if I sell them, beautiful stuff. Depending on how long you want to do this or how many times you'd like to do it, you can get unlimited money. It is absolutely insane. By far the easiest strat to get unlimited money in Power World. 
This next glitch is a really, really, really handy glitch, especially if you're looking for some easy XP, easy and quick XP. It's very, very, very simple to do as well, so I'm going to show you guys how to do it right now. So what you need to do is start off with, where is it, a wooden foundation. So you need one on the floor, one there, and one there. So three in a row, very, very simple to do. And now you need four walls. That's not a wall. You need four walls here. So one, two, three, four. And now you need a roof as well. I can't get up there, so I'm gonna build stairs. Stairs are good to have here as well because you need to get to the top. So just a roof like that. So a box there. So the next part, this is the simple part to do. You just need the wooden slanted roof. So as you can see here, it's completely free flowing. So you don't want it on the sides. You want it here and just right click, boom, gives me XP. So you can just place it one down at a time like you can see on screen here and if you come out of the inventory and then go to place it again you pick up the wood that it drops and you can carry this on for as long as you like. It doesn't really matter how long you do it but as you can see in the top left you get XP from it and everyone in your party also gets XP. Just some very very simple easy XP to get, just something I thought that was worth sharing with everybody. This next glitch here is kind of pointless but at the same time I think it's very cool. So this glitch is a way that you can actually become your pal and control the pal without your character even being there. It's kind of pointless, but it also looks very cool. And if you're into making YouTube videos, it could actually serve a purpose to have a really cool thumbnail idea. So first of all, you need to have a pal that you can mount. So for example, the Jetragon. So I'm gonna have him right here. What you need to do first is throw him on the floor. So he's walking around like this or floating around in this instance. And what you need to do then is go to pet a different pal. So I'll just do it with this guy right here, this cow. So hold four and then get on top of my mount. Come on. There we go. So we'll go towards him and then click pet. And while he is being petted, you can then move away. And look at that. My guy is still there petting him. And I'm moving around on my Jetragon with nobody actually riding him. So you can move around. You can still shoot things. You can still do everything normally. It is very cool, but as you just saw, the further away you get, you will lag like absolute high hell. So if I just keep going, look at this. I'm on single player and you just lag like absolute crazy because it shouldn't be in the game and it's a very, very strange glitch, but I thought I'd just showcase it here. You lag like absolute nuts. So you need to just stay near him. So if, for example, my character is still down there, as you can see, I can't actually move down. So what the idea is, you go as close as you can to the, the mounting or your character and then dismount. And that's how you get off it. And you can just repeat the process, rinse and repeat and keep doing it. But I just thought I'd showcase it because it is very, very strange. It's a very, very cool glitch. Uh, would I recommend doing it? Yes, if you want to make a thumbnail. But apart from that, it's kind of pointless. So. That is actually it. That sums up the video. So thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy or found any of these helpful, if you could leave a like and subscribe to the channel, that would be much appreciated. Thank you very much and goodbye.